Okay, Phyllis, so that is the new YSS suspension that's going on the Himalayan. And uh, yeah, so to make things clear, I am not a suspension specialist. I do not know the language of suspension. Of course, I understand preload, compression, rebound, um, the fundamentals of it. But I am no specialist. I am not somebody who can... Of course, I can uh, adjust the sag of the motorcycle for the rider or with luggage. Um, and all said and done. Suspension is a complicated subject. It is not for everyone. Um, best handled by specialists. And it's a very subjective matter. Yeah, just throw in a spring and a shock and expect things to work. Um, I, I don't think that is the way... Uh, with suspension. With suspension you need to know why, why you need, what you need and how does that uh, you know, uh, help improve your performance on road. So everything is relative, everything boils and that is why, that is why you go in for suspension which offers adjustability. So uh, there are, there's a preload adjustment uh, knob over here and there's a rebound adjustment knob over here. So this helps you with rebound adjustment and this helps you with preload adjustment and there's also a bit of a rider height adjust over here. So all the threads that are sticking out is the amount of uh, threads I can go out and go in. I'm at about 9 millimeters. you can go, you can extend this to about 10 millimeters. so one more millimeter uh, you can pull this out and so that, that will help you adjust the height. Now. Uh, See, uh, this package arrived from uh, LRL Motors in Motors in Kerala, and uh, which is a state down south in India. And uh, these guys have almost all the wonderful uh, uh, upgrades, aftermarket upgrades for most motorcycles in India, and of course uh, international models as well. So um, yeah, what came with the package is this: the shock, a bunch of stickers. Uh, this is to uh, adjust the preload so what you do with this allen key is you have um where is it oh yep there you go so if you guys can see this over here there's a there's a small uh, locking nut over here which can be loosened with the help of the allen key and once you've loosened that you take this fella you shove this into one of these holes and turn clockwise for uh, um, less preload turn anti-clockwise for more preload or vice versa i'll have to check that i'll have to double check that and uh, well, let's just check that here. So what does it say? Uh, use the spanner to turn to the preload to the right for softer uh, or to left for harder. <laughs> so right soft, left hard. And that's how you go about adjusting the preload and get your sag. Whereas this is rebound dampening. And this is, um, this is why you get uh, an upgraded uh, shock which offers adjustability. Rebound dampening is extremely important and I only understood that when uh, I upgraded my front suspension. When I upgraded my front suspension the rear felt like it was just wobbly. It was squishy and wobbly and it was just all over the place the bike. <laughs> I mean I, I, I was upset. I, I, I told a friend of mine who suggested uh, going in for upgraded components that I don't really need a rear shock. I'm good with a front upgrade. As long as my front is planted and stable, I'll be happy. But then, uh, <laughs> just like he said, the moment I threw in good springs and good oil and, uh, you know, um, got my front to work the way I wanted, I'm also going in with a fork emulator. Very soon the front will be top class, world, um, uh, you know, the, the best of the best competence in the front suspension and the uh, high predictability and uh, traction and uh, you have a rear uh, shock that's starting to um, show how weak it is um, compared to the front you you just can't go about tweaking the front and leaving the rears because the vehicle will be very planted in the front and the rear will be like that 
it'll be all over the place. So you want both of them to work in parallel, both of them to work in tandem, both of them to go hand in hand. And that is why I'm changing the rear shock. And uh, yep, so <laughs> LRL Motors is the place to go and approach. And uh, uh, this this is this is a, a premium premium uh, product. The moment you hold it in your hand, you know that this is not something which is the average product. Is it's, it's as premium as it gets. Of course, I've held a an Olin suspension in my hand and uh, that is definitely two or three notches more premium looking than this but this is definitely not uh, uh, the average man's shock absorber it uh, it retails at 23,500 rupees uh, the landing cost was 23,500 no shipping charged but um, that is uh, in India I don't know how much this is priced at in the West but this is quite expensive and uh, it looks the part. Now we'll throw it into the machine and see if this transforms the machine. Another aspect that I would like to talk about is the weight of the suspension. This stands at 3.2 kilos. This is 3.2 kilos. I don't know if my stock suspension is going to be heavier or lighter, but we'll have to check that out. Uh, this has both gas and oil in it for uh, dampening. And uh, yeah, the rest of it is machined aluminum looks spectacular the spring is red and i like this red instead of a blazing red this is a little uh, dull red and i believe that this is definitely not going to be an eyesore i don't like too much of a contrast on my motorcycle an adjustable knob over here to uh, uh, decrease rebound and to increase rebound so to harden and to soften on the left to harden on the right if you guys can see there's an edge over here and there's an air s with an arrow this way over here so that would mean soften 30 clicks so you completely tighten it first lock and then start counting 15 clicks get it to a neutral position and from there you can go about adjusting uh, they say five to ten clicks is where you will start feeling the difference one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 15 so that i believe is where i would keep it for now and this goes into the machine i am not adjusting uh, the preload as as of yet i will put this on the machine go for a ride and then uh, check my sag uh, we'll have ashi sitting on the machine and then adjust the preload accordingly well that's that uh, this beautiful piece of uh, this contraption <laughs> this beautiful contraption is going into the machine now we will uh, talk about performance and related aspects in some time so if this uh, is this is not something that i would recommend to people who do normal city commuting this is for people who are really wanting to uh, who really want to push their motorcycle starting to ride off road and are very serious about improving on off road terrain um, this will definitely come in handy a wonderful wonderful product hope uh, this performs as good as it looks <laughs> So if this video helped in some way, you just need to let it help. <laughs> I'll see you guys on another one. Until then, this is Ben signing out for now. A lot of work cut out for me. Yep. Ciao.